Uh, yeah, let's go to the collection because I think that's quite interesting. The show looked pretty cool because, of course, Sean Stussy was involved in it, lended his artistic help to it. This is a review from the Ra from Vogue Runway. Quickly read you this review from a one Nicole Phelps, who kind of details some of her experience sitting there front row at the show, and then we'll go through some people's Instagram stories and show you behind the curtains like you were actually there. So here we go. Kim Jones has remade Dior Men. Uh, top to the bottom in the 18 months since his debut which is very true that debut collection from kim jones was probably one of the worst introductions to a brand i've maybe seen in a long time it was so safe it was so predictable so just middle of the road so vanilla but of course because he's supremely talented supremely gifted designer he just went bah, 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 just shifted into fifth gear and since then he's just dropped heater after heater after heater collection just came with the heat honestly go back and look at this first collection he did the one with the the one that had the massive cores uh insulation in the, in the middle it was dead it was horrible like m there was a lot more glitz and all the outside stuff made more sense i remember they had that big dior flower thing that everyone was standing in front of all that stuff was better than the actual show itself it was so terrible but somehow he absolutely upped the levels and i guess that's what happens when you're an expert designer you have to kind of come in i think on the house sort of like um establish your codes establish your motifs your themes your color palettes and then sort of build upon that and just deliver after deliver and, and then that's where you have to kind of give really give credit to kim jones in that regard he's probably be the safest bet in industry of fashion now if you put him in charge of your house you give him free reign to do what he needs to do from top to bottom he will deliver and he will make sales because people buy this stuff even the stuff that he's done with the leaks i was sorry matthew williams in terms of the buckle stuff with the bags that's been incredible he actually delivers at the big because you know i'm seeing people actually wearing dior um head to toe now like especially the rappers who probably wouldn't have gave it that much of a look in it's getting a lot of love from there too so definitely check those out anyway continues the review here in his debut with a gold uh, with a global team with artist collaborations and with a saddle bag for dudes to say nothing of the uh pageantry he's brought to the house's pantsuits but the most um jonesian development of all is the synthesis of high and low the culture of the street which i'm a big appreciator of again he's the only one in fashion now apart from maybe jun takahashi who's actually flying the banner for streetwear and unashamed to say yes my influence is coming from the street i love that industry most people are just kind of staying away from it and trying to go back to their idea of tailoring and proper fashion whatever that may mean but the most um, jonesian development of all is the synthesis between high and low couture and street so integral is uh this intermingling to his dior men project that jones rejects the distinction between the categories as old-fashioned and out of touch today people buy what's the best he said in a pre-show interview the implications being that dior men is deserving of that superlative the sales results bear that out which i'm a big fan of you know people just People just buy what they want to buy now. I think the idea that you can go into Selfridges or into a Dover Street market and you can you can be convinced to buy something due to the merchandising of the store is a bit is a bit redundant. I'm sure maybe some merchandisers might argue with me, but I think for the most part, the merchandising of a store is just your you know it's it's mostly of artistic artistic expression. You're mostly just trying to you know. Um, uh, design the flow of a store but in order to kind of merchandise the store to kind of drive sales a certain brand doesn't work i don't care how many t-shirts are alongside a yoji yoji yamamoto blazer if i want the blazer i'll buy the blazer if i want the t-shirt i'll buy the t-shirt so that's the way it is right the sales re the sales results better out the article says and jones show in miami beach tonight should only make them rosier that must have been a vibe in it imagine going to see a dior show collaboration with stussy with jordan ones running down the runway in bloody miami that must have been a vibe so nice and warm drinking cocktails the beach blah 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 must have been so cool let's start with a little uh, matter of the collaboration with Sean Stushi who reimagined the house logo and B which is amazing right when the partnership was announced a day ahead of the show the internet lit up with anticipation Joan was a pre, uh, was a pre 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 preternatural ability pre natural ability sorry preternatural ability I don't know what that word is I can't say it for creating buzz and anyway, recall the supreme collab he engineered while still at louis vuitton on the surface the sushi arrangement might appear shrewd a supreme redo for his new french label but it's absolutely authentic jones began buying sushi at 14 with money he saved up from a job washing dishes at a cafe and he remembers copying sean sushi's familiar score in his school books of course we all did that man i remember that was the first thing i did uh when i first got into streetwear as well i started to get actual line sheets of old soup of old sushi line sheets from magazines i have here japanese magazines like As asanya and like you know copying down putting my own logo on it we all did the same sort of thing because sushi has been especially what you've seen now he's built up so much of an archive of so many staple designs that he's been been able to kind of the brand's been able to survive even without him at the helm now don't get me wrong the, what the guys are doing now the super design team is bloody incredible but you can't deny the codes and the foundation that he left were 
A1. Um, I don't... So, uh, Kim Jones says the following. I don't choose people just because they're famous, Jones said. When something becomes as iconic as the, as that, it's in the culture, and culture is what I'm interested in, which I'm a big fan of his as well for that. There's doubtless many other facts fans out there eager to see Stussy's first work in ages. And he sold his company, found 996. Bloody hell, man. Dito Air Jordan's Acolytes. The new Air Jordan... Made in Italian factories using the same leather found in the French house bags. Okay, that's probably why it's two thousand pounds then. Um, featuring the trademark swoosh and the Dior oblique logo, jacket had its coming out on this night's runway. It's been upscaled, said Jones. Who would know? Air Jordans are one of the things the designer collects. He upwards he has upwards of forty pairs, but the famous sneakers are only the beginning of the street chic blending here. Camp shirts in a classic duty style were minutely bent, beaded. One fantastic example took 2,600 2, hours to embroider. Dior has the connections to Miami area, including what Jones described as a huge flagship Havana, Cuba. He layered in nods of the place by lifting the pasta leaf palette. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so loads of cool stuff there. Is Daniel Craig involved? What is it? See that because of the origin. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's see this. So the actual collection itself is gorgeous. I think some of the stuff that Stussy has done with it has been incredible. Obviously, you're seeing it with some of the tops and iconography all over the place and the reimagining of the Dior logo is really incredible. I think that Dior logo, Sean Stussy's script thing is going to sell like hotcakes. There's no denying that whatsoever. So again, the commercial viability of Kim Jones is incredible. The fact that he sent this out of his as his first look is essentially something you'd see um, Sean Stussy wear on holiday somewhere. A nice uh, a nice bag, a great little Parisian sort of style hat, a great jumper with a shirt underneath, some really light, warm shorts, and of course the Jordans and socks on. A classic, classic outfit that would work both on the beach and in a club. An amazing, amazing um, debut from Kim Jones. Again, just great overall. Um, let's take a quick scan of it. Again, some great sandals. The boots, he's always a good... Um, he's always an underrated um, maker of boots. I remember even some of the... I think it might have been the last collection that Louis Vuitton Kim Jones did. The one that was inspired by the African Sahara. There were some incredible boots in there. Some similar sort of tones. Really well done. Um, again, some great motifs on the shirt. Sort of like a tight... What do you call those kind of African print inspired stuff? I like some of the details on the hats. I like that bucket hat there. It's going to sell like absolute hotcakes. You know it's going to go well. These little accessories with little flowers on it. Some of the earrings look incredible. Again, little accessories such as the bags here in, in front. Like he's just a master of those little extra trinkets because I think he collects them anyway. Him being a fan of, you know, Hiroshi Fujiwara, who's a master of those little pouch trinkets, you know, little camera cases, uh, cases for a case, a case for a cable. Everything's everything's got a little case for it. I really love that. So he's able to kind of translate some of those likes or wants of his of his own wardrobe into the runway, which is great to see. Again, some great tones, some pastels, some nice browns. The trousers are always he's cut on his trousers are always superbly done. Again, a real update on that kind of loafer shoe model, which I'm a big fan of. A great little scarf motif on there, scarf tie thing. Those hats look really cool. I'm a big fan of, again, the earrings are incredible as well from the little detail I can see there. Again, just really expertly done. The shorts are a good length, great suiting, nice and relaxed fits. And just in general, you know this is all going to sell so, so well. This little chest piece that essentially is a collaboration with um, Alix again or Matthew Williams. And that fabric is incredible as well. That Dior logo and that hat. Like that hat, I might have to get. I have to get that hat. That French hat is just incredible. Look how beautiful that is in that Dior logo. In that Dior font with a Sean Stussy script. That's just incredible. Great boots as well. That's really, really well done. And again, maybe a little nod to in the past collection with the suit sort of like remember they had those suits with the scarves that kind of go inside and sort of like slip in and sit on the outside so maybe that's a kind of carryover from last season but again just brilliant brilliant stuff from um kim jones and stussy um very expertly done those hats those shoes those loafers there with the dior script on the top of them looks incredible and get a little update on the kind of penny loafers i have from uh base what gh basis whatever they call that i've got um Again, really well done. Saddle bags, nice tote bags, overcoats, bucket hats, great prints on the trousers and shorts. This would be really popular when, especially imagine IB for season, all the house lads and the tech house lads, they'll love all this sort of stuff. Look at that. He's got, ah, oh, he's made a, a Dior um, Hydro Flask thing. That's going to be very popular as well. You know, look, all these accessories are going to sell like absolute hotcakes. Some of the sandals are going to do really well as well. Just incredibly creative in all regards no matter what you look at it, this is probably one of his strongest collections so far. And again, just go and see what he did in his first collection with Dior and see where it's at now. The levels are just insane. He's, he's, he's like essentially, like I said, like one of the best, um, one of the easiest people to book or to get in place as a head designer of your house. 
He's a commercial hit, man. He's able to design for the street and for the luxury clientele. Like, look at that. Look at that outfit. That is so gorgeous. Brown overcoat and massive, nice, loose turtleneck. The shorts are great length. I'm not sure what that fabric is either. That fabric is gorgeous, whatever that fabric is. Incredible piping. Similar, a kind of, uh, a nod to kind of Muay Thai shorts, it looks like, with obviously the Elite's buckle on the belt and obviously the script on the on the belt as well. The Sun Sushi script looks bloody beautiful. Such a fan of everything that's on here. So gorgeous. So again, recommend you check it out. Really nice collection. Um, let's move on from there and maybe check out some of the front row images with some people that are at the show. You know, so it's fun to check some of that stuff out. Um, first of all, we've got the Instagram profile of Dior themselves. Let's see what they put up on there. Bapidi 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 ba. Can you load that, please? Um, who we have here dressing in there? So we've got some uh background videos from you know give us a feel on what it was about this is a text from dior caption says the dior men fall 2020 show is just around the corner we're not telling we're not telling what kim jones has dreamed up for his collection okay this, the copy on there is horrible uh there's no telling what kim jones has drawn up for his collection but the vibes are palatable in this intense brightly colored video set to george's about the work <laughs> Oh, the Black Panther did a remix of this track, you see? What did she play in the show? That's cool, man. That's really cool. Well done, Black Panther. And it continues here. We've got another video. Same tune. I think that's what played on the runway, right? I never saw that. It's so good, that Honestly, get yourself a good script. Get yourself a good a good throw up, and you are you are made it in life, innit? That oh, that Sean Tuss is so good. We can do it again. Let's see what else we've got here on a Dior show. We've got a car here. You can feel the deal of Miami vibe. A gleaming row of uh, colorful vintage American cars lined the streets outside the Dior Men's Full Show. That's great to see as well. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, a very authentic collaboration. You probably reached out to a to, you know, vintage uh, car dealer and got those cars from Miami Vice shipped in directly to the show as well. So no, no, no uh, corners cut. That's what happens when you go to a big house, though, isn't it? You just have to exploit all the resources to hand because you won't get this chance again, especially with your own namesake label. The amount of money they threw at this, I, I would just looking at the front row, the amount it must cost to book these people to come to your show is insane. So, you know, wow. Look at this, look at it, look at it outside. It looks incredible, isn't it? Bloody hell, it's beautiful. It's so cool, man. And then here's the inside of the show here, the auditorium. You've essentially got these two. You've got obviously the seats in the middle, which are quite on the front row, which is a great way to... I like the design of that show. Imagine kind of some old um, Phoebe Fowler shows. You did something similar where the middle bit, the middle concourse is sort of where all the VIP sit. And then you've got obviously the the little stands on the side where everyone else sits and stands. That looks really, really cool. Big fan of all of that. Oh, Prince Paleo. Long time not heard about him in a while. I remember him. He was a real big um, influence blogger back in the day. I think it's still around. Of course, David Beck wearing these sheer suits looks absolutely beautiful. David Beckham in that suit looks amazing, immaculate. You've got Kim Jones and uh, who's the other one? Courtney, I'm assuming. Great outfit as well. And then, of course, Travis Scott. He, Travis Scott doesn't really dress well. Is that can I can I say that out loud without sounding like a hater? I don't think he dresses pretty well. I think he's for his body, for his shape. And his frame, he doesn't do himself justice with stuff he wears, personally, I would say. I like the hat, though. The hat looks pretty cool. Is that a Dior hat as well or no? The Dior Snapchat. That's that. That'd be quite cool. Do you reckon they're going to do that? Do you reckon they're going to do the Dior, the Sean City script in a Dior camp hat, like a five panel hat? That would look, look incredible. And then who else we got here? We have a friend of House Wang. The friend, the friend of the house, Wang Jukani. Junkai, I'm not sure who that is. His outfit looks cool, though. I love that all over print with Dior all over it. It looks pretty cool. And then lastly, we have Jay Park and Gray, right? Wearing the suit as well. It looked really cool in that regard. And of course, Maluma, the main man, the most handsome man in the world, wearing the outfit as well. Um, and then we move on from there. Who else have we got? We want to quickly check out before we move on. We also have, we want to see here. Oh, we've got Kim Jones' Instagram as well. Let's check out what he has to post because he has some interesting posts on his stories that I thought were quite cool to go over before we head off. Of course, number one, you've got the image of uh, Kim Jones himself and Maluma, the main man here, chilling with the actual poster or the actual front cover of him on Harper's Bazaar by Kim Jones. Maluma is looking incredible. Some nice short shorts there. Kim Jones wearing the Sakai Nikes. And of course, you've got a picture here of Jay Balvin, I'm assuming, with the dyed hair. Of course, it's Jay Balvin, another big icon. And they've got a bloody powerboat. Is that, is, that, is that the one taking the guests to the actual show? Nah, don't piss. Don't piss, piss off. 
He's got his paper taking the guests to the show. That is amazing. Proper Miami Vice fucking feel, isn't it? Kim Jones is a boss in that regard. And you've got Kim Jones here thanking, I'm guessing, the models. Yep. Loads of skinny legs that have to be the models. So that's great to see as well. And then, of course, the show itself. The same tune playing. Thanks to everyone involved in the show tonight. Love to everybody. Wow. Amazing. Probably, I'm um, assuming Black Madonna played, right? Or was she just doing the track? That's incredible. Look at that. That's beautiful, does not it? So cool, man. My advice, feel. So I guess with your pre full shows, you can put them wherever you want, right? So I guess that's why I did it in Miami because I'm not, I'm not sure if Dior have a big presence in Miami. Or do they have... I'm not sure if they have a store out there. But the front row is very interesting. You've got Daniel Arsham there. You've got Maluma with the other model with the name. You've got Kim sitting there. Courtney. I'm not sure if it's a mask. Travis, David, Kate Moss. Uh, oh, I forgot his name, the one that used to be a designer as well. Interesting front row, there, isn't it? Lily Allen is sitting there as well somewhere. Everyone's crossing their legs and being all chic and shit. Doing the damn bits. Cool, man. Great to see, innit? Pretty cool. Let's go on your story and quickly check that and then we can move on. Um, yeah, do your invites. Everyone's thankful for the shoes. Oh, look at the tie dye shoes. They look pretty cool, innit? Um, Sort of like a, a, a Brian, oh, that's Brian Boy, yeah, sort of like a Dior Techno, right? A Dior Nike Techno sort of vibe, of course. You've got here, who's fitted? Who's getting fitted there? I've got Sean, Miss Fame, someone, I'm not sure who that is. Sean Wotherspoon was out there. Oh, Sean Wotherspoon was out there as well, sick. He put him on a speedboat and flew them out. That's bloody incredible. I really like that. Ricky Martin, of course, had the invite. Standing there, Sean Weatherspoon's got a suit. Probably the first time Sean Weatherspoon's wore a suit in his life, isn't it? Probably, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, his coat is looking bad. Yeah, all amazing, man. Great to see. Some real cool... What, what, what's that flag there? Do you marry me tonight? Mr. Kim Jones first show in the United States, of course. Amazing. I like the little motif there on the tie. He got another invite. Loads of pictures of the invite. Invite, invite. Okay. This, this retweeting of people's things is similar to people retweeting their own or people retweeting compliments on Twitter is annoying, isn't it? You have to go through so many things, but it's quite cool to see the little pieces that were um, given to people at the show. Like the invites are really nice. What is it? Is it like a is that a shoehorn? What is it? Our oh, fan. Oh, it's a fan, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, me lovey, me lovey. That's great. I love that. And is that a phone case as well at the top? I don't sure. But that's really cool. You get a little fan with it. I'm not sure who Christine McCauley is, but she's flossing and doing her bits and pieces there. Everyone's creaming over the Jordans. You've got Kim giving a view of the amazing snakeskin patterns that look incredible on that outfit she's wearing. Who's Miss Fame in NYC? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Um, you've got Honey Dee John there doing the bits as well. Bella Hadid looking spamming up her huge. David Beckham and Kim Jones. A track there. Did you play the music? Oh, sick. A track was DJing. Sick. Great to see. Man. Very American, that isn't it? American influence. A track and Black Madonna doing the soundtrack looks incredible. You've got Ali Mackie pulling up the shoes. I wonder how hard the shoes are going to get to be to get. Very difficult, right? Lily Allen there, of course. Maluma, um, that model girl. I've got a name in the coalitions there. Ricky Martin doing the damn thing. Oh, Ricky Martin looks great, isn't it? Yeah, Ricky Martin, do your thing. Ricky Martin lives in Miami, though, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure. Does he live in Miami? I'm pretty sure he moved there after he got married. I'm not too sure. If he's true, though. Don't quote me. But yeah, it was pretty amazing, man. I'm a big fan of everything involved. Big up Kim Jones. Easily one of the best designers out at the moment. He delivers season in, season out. One of the most underrated baby designers, I'd say, in terms of actual delivery and output. And again, just bringing it, man. Who's this person with the ski mask? Uh, Skunk and Nancy. Is it? Okay. Really? Hmm. Okay. Um, again, an amazing pictures again with Kim and David. They're good, good friends. Who's that YBM Namir? No, it's not, is it? Who's that? I don't know who that is. It'd be weird if YBM Namir was there, wouldn't it? Alistair McKim, of course, taking pictures there. Happy to be there. Was he the one styling? Probably, I'm not too sure. Backstage, of course, with Travis and everyone else. Paul Mitterman was out there as well, it looks like. Um, yes, Mark Fraser's tweeting some things. He was there front row as well. So, all the movers and shakers in the industry out there doing the thing and happy for his Kim walking down the, high, walking down the runway, everyone clapping and whooping, whooping, whooping. Good show from the man. But yeah, he smashed it. Fireworks, of course. Like, you look at that. How they celebrate you, man. No wonder these some of these individuals don't want to do their own namesake brand, man. These brands put this money behind you and throw fireworks at the end of it. Absolutely banging, man. Top man. All, um, all praise to Kim Jones. Kim Jones. Yeah. Top, top, 
top work from the dude, man. Top work, top work. So yeah, that's it, man. That's it from the Dior and Kim Jones. Probably stop wanking over that because you know it gets a bit cringy. But you know what? Why not? Let's do one more, one more story. Um, I think I saw a video actually. Uh, Playboy Carter and Luca out there too. That look pretty interesting. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, they're out there as well, flossing with the old Dior. Of course, there's an image of it there. You can see Luca, Luca and Playboy Carti hanging out from the uh, Matthew Williams uh, Instagram. I don't know what car that is. It looks incredible though. All black, Jeep. Then yeah, great to see. Oh, is that his car? Oh, is that Playboy Carti's car? What car is that? Is that a Lamborghini? Oh, is that playing under Playboy Carti? They're best friends, right? Playboy Kite and the That's awesome to see, man. That's great. Great collaboration with the shoes. Okay, one side's got Edio, one side's got Dio on the underneath. You got the acknowledgements. Um, so the music is A Track, Styling, Melanie Ward, Casting, Shelly Durank, uh, Hat, Stephen Jones, Awesome to See, UK Stand Up, Video, Tender Night, Special Thanks to Matthew Williams, Sean Stussy, Jordan Brand, Mera, Don Rubel, Rubel Moselle, Orvel Peck, who obviously did the music. That was the one in the mask, I'm assuming. Armin van Helden and Honey Dijon. Okay, awesome, man. Wow. What a great many thanks list in it to put on there. But yeah, great to see. Check it out if you're that way inclined. I'm sure a lot of us won't be able to get anything from the collection itself. But anyway, it's nice to see from the outside looking in. It's good to kind of peek in on what the uh, higher-ups are doing out there as we squallow away here in our Zara jumpers <laughs> and our five-euro sunglasses we got from Madrid. Mamma mia!